multi-story gardening is an innovative and exciting technology for all year round vegetable farming here in Kenya. On today's episode, I bring you to Farming Wanda here in Gatondo South. They offer creative solutions to some of the farming problems and offer innovative ways on how to adapt with farming anywhere from city suburbs to rural areas with small sized space, to farms and ranches. They also offer a variety of solutions to space and high productivity at low production cost. The dietary infusion also blends a variety of crops to your space, such as kills, strawberry, spinach, among others. And it also comes with an added advantage, green landscaping. So stay here with us as we get to learn more on how you can make the most out of the space that is available to you. We will be talking to Dennis Moravi, one of the directors in this farm and is also an expert when it comes to multi-story gardening and he will be telling us more about this particular technology. Dennis, hi, hi how are you? Fosana. Yes, thank you so much for having us here today. Okay. Yeah, Dennis, tell us more about yourself. Okay, I'm Dennis Moravi, uh, director of farm in Rwanda. We are two directors, my partner is uh, Daniel Getao Dairo. He's not with us today, but he is fully represented. So here at Farm in Rwanda, we, we solve the problems in agriculture, whereby we are assisting farmers from the urban areas to the, to the rural areas. Okay, when did all this start? Okay, me and, me and my partner, we are innovators. And innovators come to Nangari a challenge that the community is going through. So we try to come up with a solution on how we can solve the problem. So the, the problem that we identified near uh, 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 sack farming, the bag farming, whereby watering on the, on the sides, on the vertical sides, was a challenge. Because okay, water on the, on the vertical side, magic in a throw away in a potato. So the plants, they go on the on the side, the ones who are perform vizuri. But the ones on the top, the ones who perform vizuri, they are not receiving receive magic vizuri. So another another thing, with the sack, we kitumia yongunia, gunia hiko ina rust for long, ina raruka ina isha. So that's where when we came, you know, an idea just comes, ina kujanga yenyewe. Na kama ni kama na structure like this, ita solve shida i na i na i. So that's why we came up with the multi-story garden, whereby we are maximizing on space and we are solving the problems that we identified. Okay. Yeah. Tell us more about the installation of this particular, uh, this multi-story garden. So the first step that we take when you're constructing a multi-story garden is first identify a site. For example, kama ukona in an urban area, na ukona ka space kadogo tu ka kitchen garden. So hapa na ume identify hapa na unataha vitengeneza kitchen garden yangu. That is the first step. Another, another thing that you have to consider is the type of soil. Mchanga ni muhimu. For example, we prefer kutumia red soil. Koto, there are those grants that we in the areas ya cotton soil, but for cot, cotton soil does not go with, well with gardening. So we have to import soil and uh, manure. Those are the first things that you have to, to, to do. Soil, identify a site, the type of soil that you have, and manure and what you want to grow. What are the advantages of planting in this particular type of farming? Okay, the multi-story garden, we are maximizing on space. For example, the, the space that the multi-story garden occupies has a base, a, a base diameter of four feet. With a four feet base diameter, if you grow your crops the normal conventional way, you can only do a maximum of 16 plants with the space. But with our multi-story garden, which has six layers with terraces, it accommodates 120 to 130, depending on the crop that you are growing and the spacing. Whereby we, we do a spacing of 6 inches to 8 inches for skuma, spinach, maybe for vegetables. For strawberry, we do a spacing of 1 foot. The area that we are occupying uh, it's, uh, has a, a base diameter of 4 feet. With the base diameter of feet, 4 feet, when you go to Mesema, you can grow a maximum of 16 plants. But with a multi story garden, you are able to grow 130 plants. Another added advantage of the multi-story garden is whereby we conserve on water. The, mo the mo one multi-story gardens only requires 20 liters of water, whereby we have water on the terraces. After the 
maybe you are, you are doing vegetable farming like skooma spinach after they, they are they are vegetative they form a canopy whereby they reduce the rate of evaporation another thing we tuna, zina, zina, they reduce the rate of they reduce weeds by after they form a canopy you know, you know there are no weeds that grow under a shade weeds are as they, as they grow under a shade though minimal weeds utapata kwa garden Another thing we we tuna in a, in a save on manure because when we are setting the multi-story garden we don't have to mix the soil in the ratio of 1 is to 1 for the whole garden. First we set it complete with soil then we scoop all around to keep mix na manure. In every type of business feedback from customers is key and Dennis shares that the customers they have attended to have been very receptive and have seen the fruit of the multi-story gardening. Our customers are from uh, the urban areas, rural areas, those from big farms, those with, with plots. So we we tuna 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 dinner all, all kind of customers from the urban to the rural areas to the to farms. So at first we identify the, the size of the space you have. Maybe you are in an urban area. You have a backyard whereby it, it is measuring maybe ten foot by ten foot. With there we can advise you that you can store two gardens. Maybe there is a client who comes to us and tells us that I have a, a plot of 50 by 100, thereby you can store 120 multi-story gardens. I have a half an acre where we buy we can install 500 multi-story gardens. So that's the first thing that we have to do. Yeah, tell us more about seed propagation. Okay. For example, for, for seed propagation, for example, in, uh, in, 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 in vegetable farming, you first identify you, a site for where you're going to do a, a nursery for your seedlings. After you, you identify that where you prepare a nursery, and uh, you una, una panda in the seedling, because seedling yako una panda skumama, spinach. After that, after the, around, uh, you can say around uh, five weeks, that's where you, trans, you, trans, you transplant for garden. And, uh, for strawberry, for strawberry, what we are doing is we are doing runners. We are using strawberries to grow runners. Now, but what we are doing is these spreads, these runners, these are what we are propagate to seedlings. Dennis takes us around to demonstrate how the seed propagation is carried out here at farm in Rwanda. We are trying to identify runners. At first, we are propagate runners and spreads. For example, if we are coming here, we are going to grow runners. We are going to Ikona, ikona na spritz mingi, kuna zi reduce. Hizo spritz ino tunina tunafanya poti. Also, kuna hizi rana zenye strawberry ina produce. Hizi rana tunakujanga, kama hindi rana moja, tunatumianga hizi pins. Tunakuja tunaipina hapo kwa mchanga, kwa mchanga, hili ina develop roots. After me develop roots, for, for uh, maybe a period of one week hivi, tunakuja tunaiaproot hapo, kwa tunayana tunaipropagate, tunifanya poti, after putting to make a mari cool, after sometimes I'm not harden. If I make a mari open, I'm not going to harden. How much time does a strawberry plant take from the time it's now transferred to this story, this story garden until the time of harvesting? After my transplant, it was going to take 75 days to harvest. Those are two and a half months. Yeah, the variety that we are using in Aitwa Chandra F1, you know, to me panda uku isha mba hitu, na iyo variety to harvest for four years. And you see the, the advantage ya strawberry ni yeti zanyewe zina jimotpry, zina toa runners na unazi spirit. So ni kumanisha hata hizo four years uneza exit, by hizi mimea mpia zi, hizi mimea zime, zime, zime produce wana hizi zingine. So you can have a sustainable, well, kuna, kuna, utakuwa na surprise all through. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges that you have faced here at Farming Rwanda? So at, at the moment, hatujapata hizo pesticides za kutosha, hati zita control all the, all the pests. So some pests are challenges kwa kwetu, na kama spider might see me. Hizo ni a challenge for strawberry, na bado snares, is only a challenge, but for challenges, come as the, the, the to me fertilizer, so we use good manure. So, challenges are still challenges as the cost that is, like in the minimum. What type of feedback have you been able to receive from your customers 
feedback ya customer wetu ndio inatuambia inatuambia kama the venture the, the idea it's working or not working for example i can give an example where is a customer that uh, a farmer that we installed we installed for is the gardens in Eldoret last year in september we had to move in storia 300 multi story gardens in september and in december it took us to start to come on the zingine 100 so if you see customer me kurudi kwako tena ni kumaanisha anapata anapata returns na bado hiyo venture inampeleka vizuri you have also seen we have also get got nini referrals from other customers they to main store kwa urban areas our urban areas tumeme kama in estate tumepata referrals bado with that tunaona hiyo venture inani na bado in our farm we have done a variety of crops tulianza na sukuma tukafanya spinach kafanya kunde we have done a variety now we have strawberry uh, yeah tell us more about the variety of crops that you can be able to grow in this type of farming the garden iko limit iko inafanya vegetables na fruits kama strawberry the only thing that uwezi panda kwa hii kwa kwa garden ni mahindi vitu zinahitaji support unaona kama kama tomatoes tomatoes na bado huwa zina zina require a bigger space hizo okay. ndio zina limit wa What is the cost of investment now for somebody who is looking at starting this type of farming how much should they be looking at to at least even have one story garden like this Okay before before we, we give an any appraise to the client we first we uh, tuna kwanza kuna vitu watu naangalia kama ni red so kama kuna the type of soil in your farm So if you if if ikiwa shamba yako ni ya cotton soil uta have queen ka cost ya kununua red so so costing yako itaenda juu kidogo but in you, if you are uko na kwa shamba yenye iko na red soil uta have queen import red soil kutoka mahali kingine kama hizi garden zote ni around around 230 for this 230 hakuna soil ili import wa mahali tulitoa hapa hii shamba yetu juu tuko na advantage ni shamba ya red soil so what we normally do we go downwards have a foot we use the top soil in setting the structures So for those who are in cotton soil areas au ndo wana 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 kwanza wana wanaingia hiyo cost ya kununua red soil. So setting a structure like this it cost you 2500 inclusive of installation. Yeah, that is within Nairobi. Within Nairobi Dep- on those other tunaenda all over all over the country ukiwa in the outside the, in, in other areas so that we you work depending on the numbers bado tunaweza so we can give you a quote depending on the number you require because of the transportation yeah tell us more about the spacing what determines the amount of space you're going to give between one plant to the next the way the, the structure imetengenezwa hakuna hakuna mmea inazuia ingine kwa sunlight na hakuna mmea inatumia space nyingine zote ziko na a free a free space yenye mmea yake itume kama sunlight ina receive vizuri in terms of water maji yote zote zinayopata maji uniformly yeah so tell us more about the type of irrigation you're using here and how much water these plants require okay for we require 20 liters of water per garden whereby we, we are using hose pipes we have placed uh, some few few water point taps all around the farm whereby we connect maybe we are watering this so we connect a hose pipe and then iko karibu na hiyo hiyo road na water hiyo 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 we move to the next place we the next row to na connect your hospital to water in the garden that's where we are, we are, ad, uh, we are advancing to to installing drips and uh, for watering in a depend na the type of the, the crop ni unafanya watering for vegetables kama sukuma spinach they form a canopy whereby the shade in a reduce the rate of evaporation so we we, we tunatotakuwa tunahitaji kufanya watering sana tunafanya watering once in a week But for a start is pure changa after we transplant immediately you will be required to water each and every day and this is farm for strawberries we can do twice work. we do twice watering twice in a week whereby tunapea maji unajua ina bado the more unapea maji the more inasaidia in production and increase the production we will be taking a short break but don't go anywhere Margaret Wamboy will be telling us more on strawberry farming. <laughs> 